Welcome to using the Search Methodology Worksheet, part of the UAMS Library Tutorials video series. The Search Methodology Worksheet is used to describe and document your literature search. This demonstration will show the steps involved in filling out the worksheet and performing searches of PubMed and CINAHL. So first off, we need a topic. For this example, we have already found a practice guideline and we want to search for articles about one aspect of the recommendations. The topic is, does current research support giving probiotics to children six months or older who have been treated for gastroenteritis as outpatients? In the topic section of our worksheet, I'm also going to include the citation for our practice guideline. These three tables on the first page of the form help us to plan our search strategy. We fill in the concepts or parts of the topic in the first table on the form. They are gastroenteritis, probiotics, and outpatients, and the age group is listed as a filter. In the second table, because we are going to be searching in PubMed and CINAHL, we list any MeSH terms or CINAHL headings that describe any of the concepts. MeSH terms and CINAHL headings are standardized terms or phrases that indexers use to describe the subject of an article. Searching with these headings can help us find articles on our topic. To find our MeSH terms, we will need to go to PubMed, and anytime we need to get to PubMed or another database, we first go to the library's homepage. Now, under Start Your Search, we'll click PubMed. From the PubMed homepage, we can find MeSH terms by clicking on MeSH Database under Explore. Now we'll search for the right MeSH term for each concept. As we find the right term, we'll copy and paste it into the second table of our search methodology worksheet. I'll repeat this process for our other concepts. When reviewing the details in MeSH for the term outpatients, we are also referred to ambulatory care, so we will also add that to our table. Now the guideline specifically mentions two types of probiotics, lactobacillus and saccharomyces. I have searched for them in the MeSH database and then added those MeSH terms to the second table like we did with the other terms. In this table, we also name the categories of any filters we plan to use. In our case, that's age, language, and publication years. Now in the third table in our worksheet, we add any text words or synonyms that refer to the concepts. In this example, there's no synonym for gastroenteritis, so we'll make a note of that. There are a few for probiotics and outpatients. We also list on this table what specific items we will ask for in the filters. English language, five years of publications, and children. If we change our search terms as we move through the process, we will update the tables to match what was actually searched. Now, let's start our search. So from the advanced page of PubMed, we'll type gastroenteritis in the search box. Now we'll add to that our probiotics mesh terms and synonyms. We type probiotics, or probiotic, or lactobacillus, or culturel, or culturel, or saccharomyces. We click on Add to History to find out how many results there are. It says there are 4,415 results. Our next step is to narrow that large group using the terms outpatients, or outpatient, or ambulatory care, or ambulatory, or primary care. Whenever there is a two-word phrase that's not a MeSH term, we put double quote marks around the phrase to keep the words together when the search engine processes them. I'm adding the search to my history and then adding it to our previous search so we find results with all of our concepts combined. This brings the number of results down to 64. Now let's look at our results and begin applying our limits, one at a time. So that's five years for the publication dates, English language, and our age groups. 
For the age groups, we have to do the PubMed two-step. We add additional filters, and then we click on them once they're on our search results screen. That way, they're actually applied to our search results. Now, by the time we've applied all these filters, we only have five articles. Because this number of results is so small, let's drop the outpatient terms, since it's the most likely thing to be causing us to miss relevant articles. That's because the authors of the articles may not have written a term for outpatient care in the title or abstract of the article. So we'll go back and run our original search with our filters now applied. Now we have 140 results. I'm going to apply one more filter, clinical trial. This will limit our results to the randomized and non-randomized research articles we're interested in. At this point, we can either read through the abstracts of our search results and download the full text of articles we select, or we can use the email feature to send the whole set of results to ourselves or to other people. I'm making sure to include all my results in the email and I'm selecting the abstract format so that I will see both citations and abstracts in the email with my results. Remember that if full text is not available when you click the Check for UAMS full text icon, you can request the article through Interlibrary Loan for free. Lastly, let's go back to our advanced search page, copy the search history, and paste it into our search methodology worksheet. You may notice that here it seems like we ran more searches than we actually did. That's because every time I clicked on a filter, PubMed added that to my search history. After pasting the search history into Word, we need to format it using AutoFit. Next, we'll go to CINAHL and look at the CINAHL headings for the concepts. I'll show one example of this process here, but the process is of course repeated for all of our concepts. In this case, it turns out that the CINAHL subject headings are the same as the MeSH terms. If one of them had been different, or more of them, I would need to add the different CINAHL headings to the second table on our search methodology worksheet. Since they were the same, we can use our same search strategy for CINAHL. In CINAHL, the filters are found under Show More. Unlike in PubMed, we can select multiple age group filters at the same time by holding down the control key as we select each. Now here again, we can either select the articles you want to download now or send the entire list of results using the share function. To get the best format for the list of results, add them to a folder and then click on the folder view. Then we'll click on save as file. I'm unchecking the include HTML full text option so that my results list isn't crowded with that. Then we click save. And now we can save this page. We also want to copy and paste our search history from here onto our search methodology worksheet. And again, we will auto fit the contents in Word. We hope this information will be helpful. For assistance with using the databases, please contact the Education and Research Services Department of the UAMS Library by calling 501-686-6734 or by email to librarireferencedesk at uams.edu. This has been a Super Searcher production. Thank you for watching.